This is the case number IT 9623-2A, the prosecutor versus Dragan Selenovich. Thank you very much. May I ask Mr. Zelenovich if he can hear me and follow the proceedings through the translation? Thank you. You may sit down, please. We now call for appearances. For the prosecution, please. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Helen Brady appearing on behalf of the prosecution, together with Juliet Tibor and our case manager, Mr. Sebastian Van Hoydonk. Thank you, Ms. Brady. As for the defence, for Mr. Zelenovich, please. Good afternoon, Your Honours. I'm Zoran Jovanovic, attorney at law, and I appear for Mr. Zelenovic. Thank you. As the registrar announced, the case on our agenda today is prosecutor versus Dragon Zelenovic. In accordance with the scheduling orders issued on the 17th and the 23rd, October 2007. The Appeals Chamber will deliver its judgment today. Following the practice of International Tribunal, I will not read out the text of the judgment except for the disposition. Instead, I will summarize the issues on appeal and the findings of the Appeals Chamber. This summary is not part of the written judgment, which is the only authoritative account on the Appeals Chamber's rulings and reasons. Copies of the written judgment will be made available to the parties at the conclusion of this hearing. This case concerns the events that took place in the Fortia municipality and its surrounding villages from April to October 1992. At the time of the events, Mr. Zlanovich was a member of the Dragon Niklic unit, a military unit in Fortia, which in the beginning of the war was part of the Bosnia Serb territorial defense and from the summer of 1992 onwards, part of the Bosnia Serb army. Mr. Zlanovic was a soldier and a de facto a military policeman. The trial chamber held that crimes which Mr. Zlanovic has pleaded guilty to were part of a pattern of sexual assaults that took place over a period of several months in four different locations and involved multiple victims. Mr. Zlanovich took direct part in the sexual abuse of victims in a number of the detention facilities, including the multiple rape of victims FWS-75 and F. WS 87. Mr. Zelenovic has been found guilty of personally committing nine rapes, eight of which were qualified as both torture and rape. He has been found guilty of, of two instances of rape through co perpetratorship, one of which was qualified as both torture and rape, and one instance of torture and rape through eating and abetting. Four of the instances of the sexual abuse were gang rapes, committed together with three or more other perpetrators. In one of those instances, he participated as an eater and abetter in the rape of FWS-75 by at least 10 soldiers, which was so violent that victim lost consciousness. 
He participated as a co perpetrator in the incident during which the victim was threatened with a gun to her head while being sexually abused. The trial chamber finds that the scale of the crimes committed was large, and that Mr. Zelanovich's participation in the crimes was substantial. On the 17th January 2007, he pleaded guilty to the crimes he was charged for. On the same day, the trial chamber found Dragon Zelanovich guilty on all charges contained in the plea agreement, namely seven counts of crimes against humanity, three of which charged torture, as provided for by Article 5F of the Statute of the International Tribunal, and four of which charged rape, as provided for by Article 5G of the Statute. The prosecution recommended a term of imprisonment within the range of 10 to 15 years, where the defense recommended a term within the range of 7 to 10 years. The trial chamber sentenced Dragon Slanovich to a single sentence of imprisonment of 15 years on the 4th April 2007. Dragon Slanovich appealed the trial judgment on the 27th April 2007 and filed his appeal brief on the 25th May 2007. In his appeal brief, he brings forward two grounds of appeal and requests the appeals chamber to lower his sentence. The prosecution requests the appeals chamber to dismiss both grounds of appeal. The parties made oral submissions before the appeals chamber in the appeals hearing held on the 15th October 2007. I will now address in turn the two grounds of appeal brought forward by Dragon Slanovich. At the end of the hearing, I will read out the disposition of the judgment. In his first ground of appeal, Dragon Zlanovich argues that the trial chamber erred by not adequately assessing the mitigating circumstances in the sentencing judgment, namely, first, his admission of guilt, thus allowing psychological benefit for victims who will not be required to give evidence. And second, his cooperation with the Office of the Prosecutor in general. In his first subground of appeal, the appellant admits that his guilty plea being the first one regarding the massive rapes that occurred in Forcha is of extraordinary importance and should have been given more weight by the trial <coughs> chamber. The appellant also submits that trial chamber failed to properly assess the expert report on the psychological benefit for the victims from their long appearance before the court, and therefore erred in determining the penalty. <laughs> 